Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. Do a Gemini. We're going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. We're going to do a Gemini reading. First, we're going to cut the cards. I'm going to pick up. You're all over energy. Gemini. You're all over energy. Okay. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling pretty damn good. This is what I like to call the tickety-boo card. This is feeling pretty damn good. Going up into the mind and finding things that no longer serve you. Bagging things up and, and getting ready to clear out your upper garden. Resoiling. Replanting. Gemini. Excellent card. Feeling good. Let's go, Gemini. Let's get her on. And let's get her done, Gemini. Let's go. Oh, things are falling down. Gemini. Strength card. Have strength, Gemini. Well, while you're wondering about things of the past and while you're wondering what I should clean up and what I should get rid of, things that no longer serve me, you find that these things hurt. So have strength while you're going through the mind. While you're looking at things that happened in the past. With this guy here. Guy, girl, whatever it is. A younger energy. Someone that compliments. Someone I like to call a smooth talker. And a sexy walker. Possibility of bringing a small gift. Nope. No gift today, my darling. Have strength. Are you waiting for someone to come and talk to you? Someone to bring you a gift or someone to come and give you a gift of the tongue? A compliment? But with the nine of wands, this is a heaviness that went with that. It appears that no one had bust a move. Not you, not them. Nobody's texting. Nobody's coming. So there's anxieties. There's worry. There's troubles. Have strength. The High Priestess. Gemini, I really do feel that you are on a verge of um, once more living your own life. I do feel, however, that you're having a hard time here uh, with your intuition talking to you, yet the past talks also. Sometimes it's hard to know which one to follow. Do I follow the things of the past that I wish would truly happen, or do I follow my intuition? Spirit. Ten wands. Well, you are certainly not listening to your intuition. So now we've gone from nine wands to ten wands. So what is this? All right. Let's break it all down here for you. You're trying to have strength because you're hoping that somebody would come back. You're hoping that somebody would come and talk to you. Someone who obviously brightens your day and puts life in your step. But it apparently nobody has come. Nobody has texted. And so there's this nine of wands feeling, this anxiety, worries, troubles. The constant thinking about someone. Your intuition is screaming at you at an all-time high right now. At an all-time high. Which causes even more burden. So, you know, it's almost like you're probably saying to yourself, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. 
and, and even my intuition is causing me burdens and troubles and, and anxieties, nervousness. So it seems that when I listen to myself, when I listen to my high priest or my high priestess, that adds another wand. That adds more burden. It's a hard place to be. Mom, it does feel like there's been no karmic justice. It also feels that there's no balance. There's no balance here at all. And why? Well, because when I look back in the past, that caused me pain. It causes me burdens. And when I, when I listen to my own intuition, that causes me even more imbalance and more pain. It causes me more burden. So there's definitely no balance here. I think you kind of welcome the thief in the night to come back and pick up the two swords that you dropped. Which is here is someone who probably lied or cheated or steal or whatever here with the seven of swords in the reverse. Also in the seven of swords reverse is his regret. And, and the regret I'm feeling is, well, you, you know, with this person here, this energy upright, they steal seven swords, but they drop two. And they drop two with the main purpose of coming back at a later time. In reverse, I kind of feel that you wish they would come back and pick up those two swords so you could see them again. But there's regret here. There's sadness and there's regret. And there is also the inability to move on, to find calmer waters, which is six of swords reversed. I can't, I just can't go, I can't move away from this. Although my intuition is screaming at me. To find your nine of pentacles, to find your hidden wealth. Whoever this energy is in the past was a very strong influence in your life. Now we're coming to the Eight of Swords, also known as the Devil card and playing cards. But with the Eight of Swords, this is a constant, constant murmuring in the brain. The constant swirl of events and thoughts, one after another, after another, after another. What I like to call the mind tornado. The constant roundabout of swirling thought. Feeling the inability to move. Feeling trapped. But if you look... Now, these swords are spaced far enough apart to just slide right through them. So the trap is illusion. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. My God, Gemini. You're, you're having a bad time here. Not even feeling that the Divine even cares. You know, it's just, I, I, I don't feel like I have any blessings. I just feel like... Well, everybody that knows me hurts me, or every time I try to do good, I get bad in return, and no good deed goes unpunished. And my life was meant for pain and for suffering, and it's just a constant, constant. Even when you're, even when inside Gemini is screaming at you and telling you what to do, to slide between these swords and get out of your mind and stop thinking, even still. The mind just goes deeper and the thoughts become faster and faster. Let's keep going. Whoa. Cards are, cards are everywhere and hitting the floor. Hold on, Gemini. Hold on. Cards are hitting the floor. Okay, so now here comes the hermit, this uh, hidey hole thing. This thing where I'm comfortable in my mind, this thing where I'm comfortable in my situation somehow. Even though it is a most horrible situation, it is comfortable because, well, it's what I know. 
and there's this hermit card. But the hermit is saying what? Let's put another card beside the hermit. The Hierophant. The Hermit and the Hierophant, hand in hand. Why well, aren't they a lovely, lovely couple? What a lovely couple. The Hermit and the Hierophant coming in, side by side. This is actually beautiful. And this is what's telling you. You're all over energy here. The Nine of Pentacles. With the High Priestess or the High Priest urging you forward, yet very, very stuck in the past, but yet being urged forward. Are you going forward? I'm going to say no right now. I'm going to say you're still very much stuck in situations that have been. But go within and see what's happening here. Now, the Hierophant the universe, our God, whatever you wish to call it, source, being. Whatever you wish to call it, and it's also tradition, matters of faith, religion. But there's something here. But the chariot not moving, there's no one coming here. There's no one that seems to be on their way. Everything is at a standstill, including you. But yet there's some kind of a stirring within you, and I think you feel that. There's a great Magi right there on the bottom. I was wondering if the Magi was going to show itself right there on the bottom. It's a Magi. Will the Magi magically transform to the top? Now we have this growing passion within you here, but what about it? Marriage. Now it's possible here that a great bond has been separated between two people. May have been children involved. It is also possible that there's still a great bond and a great desire for someone that you miss truly in your life. But they don't seem to be coming. Here's a star. The star is great possibilities, possibly even miracles. The Magi. The magician-like qualities. Great possibilities of the Magi. Hold on, one more card. Being recognized. All right, so what is this? Is this spell work? Probably not. Is it manifestation? Well, it could be, but I really don't see that's working. And you've probably been manifesting, but not in a ritual kind of way, in a way of overthinking of somebody and trying to draw them near, <clears throat> trying to send out telepathic messages of, of desire that you still have for someone. But the thing is, is that you've got some great cards there. Are you stuck between a rock and a hard place? Oh, yes, indeed. The inability to feel that you can move at all. The feeling of entrapment. But then we get these wonderful cards here. With the hermit, the hierophant, the star, the uh, great magi, and being recognized. What do you want to be recognized for? Now, it kind of concerned me here that spirit would pick your all over energy as this. And then your reading comes out this. Why would your all over energy be, ah, I'm going within, I'm going up into the attic, I'm doing some cleaning up there, I'm going to resoil. I'm cleaning up my garden. Uh, I'm going to resoil and replant. I'm going to watch it thrive. I'm going to rock, watch it grow. Well, you will. You will. Because I truly do feel that, um, Gemini, that, yes, you do have a purpose here. 
Now, there could be something about tradition here. It could be maybe you fell in love with somebody that was uh, different than what others would have expected from you. There, there could have been judgments. There, there could have been many things here. Uh, different religions, although these things don't really matter. Nothing really matters anymore. It, it could be a, a same sex that maybe, um, maybe somebody was uncomfortable with that. Somebody didn't quite know how to bring that out in, into the world. But let's pull a couple more cards for you. Because I think Spirit really wants to say something here. Will you be recognized? Yes, you will. But by what? Or by whom? Who will recognize you? Oh my God, you got the sun. Now the star is great possibilities, but the sun is set in stone. This is healing. This is really feeling good. This is your, your queen of pentacles, or your nine of pentacles. And this is your... The, the, this is actually fantastic. This is success. You will be recognized for success. And it all comes with the Magi. Let's keep going. Doors begin to open. Okay, so Gemini, right now, you probably... Hmm, even when you talk to yourself, you're probably even condemning yourself for talking to yourself. You're probably even pushing away the universe when the universe says, hey, come on, get up, get up, stand up. You're probably even pushing the universe away, pushing away your your own intuition. Feeling that, you know, well, you've definitely lost something here and there doesn't seem to be any word from them. They're not talking. They might have you blocked. But you got doors opening. And you got a new path all lit up here. With the two of wands, there's a whole brand new path lit up here. This is standing at crossroads once more. Gemini, you are on your way to healing, whether it feels like it or not. Whether it feels like it or not, you are on your way to healing. Let's keep going here. Yes, definitely. With the three of pentacles rebuilding. You're definitely on your way here. Um, by the grace of by the grace of God, by your hard work, by your sudden revelation that you know what, I, I gotta get out of this. I, I gotta find my way. I gotta get back up. So um realize that there's someone here that doesn't seem to want to be coming back, at least not now. They might come back later. But also realize that you're being formed here. You're being put through the fire so that you can be more wise. So that you can be able to understand the lessons of things that are being taught here. Um, this is a very good work. You will do very well here. I do have success. Being recognized and success. And I believe that could be a project that you're working on or at work. It's finally standing up and saying, I got to get up. I got to get back to work or I got to get back to work on, on my, my project that I'm working on. Or I've just wasted too much time. I got to I got to get her on and get her done. And you will be recognized. You will stand on a whole brand new path. And that path is very, very well lit. Doors begin to open. And you begin to rebuild once more. Gemini, this is actually a beautiful reading. Unfortunately, what you're going through right now it is not beautiful. It is a, a, well, it's a freaking nightmare is what it is. Very, very much stuck in the past, stuck in your head, stuck in the mind tornado. But this comes to you. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out here. Once again, my garden will flourish. Once again, I will bloom. Leo, Pisces, Libra. 
Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo again, Sagittarius, Scorpio. All signs are on the board, but these are the signs that are prominent. Gemini, this is your reading. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it if you hit those thumbs on the way out. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Namaste.